Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to The Bench. Today on The Bench, I'm going to talk about the blue LEDs that existed before the current technology, blue LEDs. So what spurred this? Well, I was watching Veritasium, a science-type YouTube channel. You know, Derek and his team over there do a very good job. And he just released a video called Why It Was Almost Impossible to Make the Blue LED. And he'll often do scientific type documentaries like that. And I think they're well balanced. They cover the science side of it, you know, the technical side, and the human side of it as well. And a fellow named Suji Makamura produced what I call the current technology LED, indium gallium nitride based. So it was based primarily on gallium nitride technology. But before that, we actually had, for a small window of time, commercially available silicon carbide-based blue LED. And that's what I want to talk about here. And I have some here on the board. And I will light these up. Don't worry. Well, I remember in the 80s asking myself, why are there no blue LEDs? Well, in the labs for decades... There have been blue LEDs. The problem is they were just so dim, in other words, so inefficient, they had no practical use. I think it was the early 70s a blue LED was demonstrated. And like I say, it just wasn't bright enough to be commercially viable. But in the early 80s, some students of the University of North Carolina got together and formed a company. And that company is Cree. They wanted to produce silicon carbide-based semiconductors. And one of their earliest projects was to tackle the blue LED. They wanted to make it bright enough to be viable for a commercial sale. And in 1989, that became a reality. And in the early 90s, those LEDs were for sale. You could buy them at DigiKey. Of course, they weren't as bright as the indium gallium nitride LEDs that came out shortly thereafter but they were still bright enough to be used as indicators or some specialized purpose. So one thing I noticed with a lot of people that are interested in electronics is they have a fascination with lighting devices. Not everybody, of course, but I'm certainly one of them. I have boxes of incandescent, fluorescent, HID, and of course LEDs, and some other weird things that produce light. And of course, it didn't take me too long to discover that there were blue LEDs on the market. And I purchased these. I think I got them from DigiKey. Back in those days, there wasn't the internet. You had to thumb through these thick catalogs of electronic components. And uh, I don't know how I found them, but you know, I was just looking around for LEDs or something, and there they were. They're kind of expensive, around $3.50, whatever that is in today's money. Probably close to 10 bucks, but you know, that's a lot of money for a 5 millimeter LED. But I put in an order of four of them, and I one is clear, one is diffuse type casing. And uh, let me fire them up. Can you even see that? <laughs> Look at that. I remember when I first fired these things up. I was awestruck seeing blue light coming from an LED. I was just awestruck. And these are running at 20 milliamps, and you know they're not that bright at all. They're just like a um, fairly dim indicator light. But to most people, you know, eh, okay, whatever. But to me. Like I said, I was all struck when I first saw these things light up. Okay, to show you the difference in brightness, I have a modern indium gallium nitride LED next to the silicon carbide based ones. And I'm running 20 milliamps through them. They're all in series, so they're getting the same current. And yeah, it's. Look at the difference. And this one's lighting up the paper. And the silicon carbide ones, you just can't even see them. It's only if I point them at the camera, you can see that they're on. And while we're at it, just a few years after the introduction of the brighter indium gallium nitride LEDs came the white LED. 
And all that consists of is the blue LED covered with a broad spectrum yellow phosphor. And that ends up outputting white light. And here is an early 5 millimeter LED producing white light, as you can see here. You can see it's fairly bright, not as not nearly as bright as the ones we have today, but of course much brighter than the silicon carbide LEDs. That LED was made by Nichia. If you watch that video I mentioned earlier, you'll know what I'm talking about. I got this in early 1997, and I believe the first white LEDs came out in 96. So, you know, that might be from one of the first batches. And roughly a decade later, when LEDs became even more efficient, they started supplanting incandescent lighting. And around 2011, I think, some of the first lower-cost LED bulbs started coming out. And, well, as you can say, the rest is history. So there you have it. I just wanted to show you a little bit of history of some of the first silicon carbide blue LEDs that were on the market before the brighter indium gallium nitride ones were available. So we'll get back to the audio here. Next video I plan to do an installment of my DIY speaker project. And with that we'll wrap it up and thank you for watching.